guys, Possible here. So, now, I've been playing this game called Blade and Soul, and really love the game. Although, it does have a lot of these pay-to-win pay, pay sort of aspects that make it a very expensive game to play. But, but for the most part, I've been enjoying it. Now, long story short is that in 24 Mans, I've been finding a lot of... It's almost impossible sometimes to actually fucking play. Now, when it comes to something like Black Tower, which is extremely important to get some of the best equipment in the game, to have fucking insane DPS and to just demolish the competition, you're gonna have to be able to fucking play those. Now, crashing or having an FPS of fucking 5 or 20, now, I'm gonna put it out to you very simply. The, ga the computer I'm playing right now has got a 1080 GTX, a 67i uh, K, uh, oh, bloody uh, i7. Uh, well, I don't overclock that, by the way, but it's still got a very, very good CPU. It's got very, it's about 16 gigs of RAM, but I'm not even using it even. I think I'm using about half. Of, generally speaking, it's not. It's not clogged up there. It's got some of the best speeds as well. And yet, on a game like this. I'll have situations like that happening in 24 Man specifically because of all the fucking effects or something. I, I suspect it's to do with poor optimization and the fact that the engine is an outdated piece of shit. But anyway, there are three things I've done to fix, finally solve the fucking problem. Three fucking things after a bit of reason, sifting through all the bullshit, the nonsense of, of so called solutions. I found three fucking things at work. And then this is not about being a top fucking three or whatever. Fuck, fuck that shit. But what it is, is three solutions, and it fucking works, so here you are. So the first thing I found, now I've already done this, but what you do is you go to control Alt to get delete control Alt delete Task Manager. Now, in these circumstances, I've already done done this, but you're going to have, you'll have this uh, icon or this button here that says show uh, from users. Make sure you click that because you won't be able to change anything if you don't, but you need to. Then right click on the process called client.exe uh, times 32. Now, I suspect that it's going to be 64 if you're using 64-bit, but uh, from what I experienced on 64-bit being in the buggy piece of shit that it is, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with it and probably use the 32-bit, but that's a different story altogether. Anyway, the way you do it is you go in here, you click set priority, and you click high. Now, normally, it'll be on normal, but you want it to set to high. Now, the reason for this is that it essentially uh, makes the forces the CPU to prioritize this process and when it, whatever it's going on in its head. And for whatever reason, that helped out massively. It stopped the crashes, for one, and even though I was still in max settings, it actually was more closer to what it was like in 6-man, where I can actually play it around about 40 FPS, 60 FPS, roughly. And that's pretty damn good, especially for 24 man and having really good settings. So, uh, but unfortunately, especially when it comes to things like Black Tower, you're going to want to do a bit more than that. Now, there is things, there's all, you know, the obvious things like Control F and, and Control G for pets, but these are things I assume are fairly obvious to you, but they're not the ones I want to discuss. The other one that I want to discuss is essentially this thing to do with resolution. Now, you may have noticed that changing resolution in the settings inside the game probably do jack shit. That's because, for some reason, they don't have any control over the application settings. I don't know why, but this may be due to NVIDIA. I don't know about rating users, but if you go back to the desktop and you click on the command, uh, open the NVIDIA control panel and then change the resolution here, You'll be able to lower it to a point where it's very smooth. Say, like, so for example, 720, 720p. At least it's tolerable uh, looking and still have very smooth resolution. So just go ahead and apply, and it will affect this. Now, unfortunately, when you do that, and I'll, I'll do it here quickly, what happens is it windows out. Well, what you can do is make, finally turn that useless option into something useful. Just select whatever, it doesn't really matter, but for consist, oh well, fuck it, I don't care. But for whatever, it just select anything and then click apply. 
and they should fix the windowed situation. And then it now it's back to whatever. And now you've got a lower lit resolution. That's a much smoother experience. Now the other thing is very obvious. Uh, you probably already do it already. Optimized com combat, and then especially for 24 man, this is okay for like six man and everything. But if you want to do it for 24 man specifically, setting things to three, you can set it lower. But unfortunately, some of the mechs require. Well, go fuck yourself, you gold. That's rule for it. Thank you. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, just set it to three, but bear in mind, setting it anything lower can make it harder to deal with certain me mechanics. I recommend leaving it on three because you might need to be able to see certain things. Then just turn that shit off because, well, what a fuck point out of that. For me, I'm turning it back on because my computer is fantastic and I only really need... I don't really need this, especially with this, for whatever reason, the CPU option, that solution, really fix things for me. So especially if you're using a very high-end computer, that CPU option is going to be your your saving grace when it comes to 24-man. So that number one solution for split for high-end systems in the FPS problem. So anyway, those are the three uh, the solutions. I'll put a detailed text in the description, and please Please read it. If you have trouble uh, with the dog, unfortunately I've had situations, uh, there's a bit of noise in the background, unfortunately where I live people like to run very loud engines at like fucking, if you can see on the screen, like 10pm at night, it's bullshit, but anyway, uh, if you have problems with that I'll definitely put it in the description, please read it, um, I'll probably put it on whatever forums I like to frequent as well and I'll put a detailed post on each and every one, that is important. And hopefully that will make your life so much easier. I, I really hope it does help you get through BT and makes it makes it so much easier to deal with what well, is a very, very, very hard uh, raid. And especially important one because fuck me, man. I want to get that fucking raven weapon, but I'm still waiting on getting to that final boss and killing that fucking thing. Anyway, a couple more things before we finish the video. I'm going to be doing a video on how to get Madeir the easy way, the really dirt cheesy easy way i found this this really easy method that has and it doesn't involve being on the bridge at all and it, it's a different method altogether so if you want and i'm talking about the uh deal the dark souls 3 uh, ring dlc boss where you have to knock it off the bridge so you can get it in the boss room i've got a really easy way to do that and i'll put that up as soon as i can but uh also in the of view i want to rewrite that better and do it do it justice but um, I had a bit of a backlog of um, lore assessments I've got to deal with first. Real life really does take precedence over things like that, so I have to deal with it. Anyway, that, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.